Time for this morning. Show me the money. This is shaping up to be one of the busiest wedding seasons ever. 2.5 million couples are expected to tie the knot this year, but those costs can really add up. People are just ready to party, basically, and to celebrate. Love is in the air. Weddings are back. Wedding planner Claire Roach says the last two years have been very challenging because of the pandemic. But now guests are once again saying yes. Before we would estimate about 65 to 70 percent of people, it's highly contingent on like, is this a destination wedding? So on and so forth. There's a lot of factors that play into it. Now I'm banking on about 80 to 85 percent. And then worst case scenario, you know, fewer people show up or fewer people RCP. We actually save money. One of the year's biggest trends, the wedding weekend. Instead of just one day, they're doing like a welcome party, a wedding, and then they're doing um, like a brunch afterwards um, and they're inviting fewer people. So it allows them to elongate the celebration a little bit, which I think people are loving. But the return of weddings is coming at a time when the cost of everything is skyrocketing. Right now, Claire says she's seeing couples spend between 50 and $60,000. Prior to that, I would have said 30 to 40, um, but just with the cost of everything these days, it's challenging to do a wedding for less. Claire says the one thing COVID has done is made it easier for couples to throw a smaller wedding, which gives them more flexibility when it comes to what they're spending their money on. People are spending the same amount of money, so they're able to customize things more. They're able to actually invest in things that they're really, really excited about, which has been really cool to watch couples do that. From venues to vendors, you're going to pay more. Claire's best recommendation is to prioritize. Obviously, we want the dream wedding for everybody, but that might just not be a reality with the funds that you have for your wedding. So prioritize. What are the top three things you and your partner really care about? Whether it's the photographer, catering, or entertainment, figure out what's most important and go from there. The best advice, do what's best for you. I'm seeing couples get more and more creative. I'm just seeing couples like walk out of their wedding day. It might be a little bit less traditional, but a lot of times they're having more fun. They, you know, do a backyard wedding or a smaller wedding or a wedding weekend, and they walk out of it so happy because it felt like a true reflection of them. Of course, couples aren't just spending their money on the wedding. They're also setting aside money for their honeymoon and budgeting for a house.